So you want to be a citizen reporter. Well, even the most intrepid of reporters still leave a few rules unbroken in pursuit of their story. After all, it's better to be out reporting the news than stuck in court or worse, in jail. And I'm here to tell you a few good rules to keep on your story and keep from becoming the story. Be aware, you can't go everywhere. While the First Amendment does give you the right to report on matters of public interest, that doesn't mean you can go anywhere. When it comes to private property, journalists have to follow the same rules as any other member of the public. In general, as a reporter, you can access any property that is open to the general public. Some good examples are public parks, many government buildings, public train stations, and city halls. Not all property owned by the government is accessible to the public. Some good examples are parks and government buildings after closing hours. Many other government buildings, like the CIA or Department of Defense, require you to seek special permission, often in writing, before entering. Call in advance and see what kind of clearance you need. If you want to report from private property, such as inside a store, a business, or a person's house, you must get the owner's permission. There is a larger degree of freedom to report from outside private property, and that freedom generally increases the further you are from the property and the more in public you are. Watch out, though! When you get permission to enter someone's property, don't overstep your welcome. If you are invited onto someone's porch for an interview, that doesn't mean you can go and access other areas, like their bedroom, unless you are invited. Law enforcement or property owners might ask you to leave, even if you have permission to be there. Be sure you understand where you can and can't be ahead of time. Get to know the laws in your jurisdiction in advance. Have a copy of any documents or correspondence showing you have a right or consent to be there. Be polite and respectful to the person challenging you. And if worse comes to worse and they threaten you, just leave, especially when you are on someone else's property. It's better to leave and come back another day than to spend a night in jail. Some topics, such as reporting improper business practices or government wrongdoing, might require investigative reporting tactics. And you may be tempted to misrepresent yourself in order to get permission to see places important to your story. Think twice. Pretend to be someone you're not, and you can face charges of trespassing, fraud, or invasion of privacy. While you can enter many public locations and private locations with permission, there are often different rules for shooting photos or video. In courthouses, for example, you can attend trials and hearings, but cameras are often banned. Find out what states allow cameras in courtrooms on our website. Government meetings are a different story. Meetings of government bodies are often open to the public by law. If so, you are free to record that meeting through note-taking, sound and video recording devices, and photography. In some meetings, bringing in a camera, even a small one, however, could raise eyebrows. Keep your equipment compact, if possible. Behave discreetly. Don't get in people's faces, stay in the corners of the room, press area, or in a seated area. Check ahead of time if possible. Let the event's organizers know you plan to record portions of the meeting so you have someone to vouch for you. We'll cover more tips for staying out of trouble when gathering the news in our next video.